Good morning. Our opening song is Gather Us In, number 303. Here in this place, new light is streaming. Now is the darkness vanished away. See in this space, our fears and our dreamings brought here to you in the light of this day. Gather us in, the lost and forsaken. Gather us in, the blind and the lame. Call to us now, and we shall awaken. We shall arise at the sound of our name. We are the young, our lives are a mystery. We are the old, who yearn for your face. We have been sung throughout all of history, called to be light to the whole human race. Gather us in, the rich and the haughty. Gather us in, the proud and the strong. Give us a heart so meek and so lowly. Give us the courage to enter the song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God, our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. With your spirit. Today we come to remember Charles, I mean St. Martin de Pours, and he died in uh, 1639. He was born in Lima, Peru, of a Spanish father and a black slave mother. He became a Dominican lay brother who humbly ministered to the poor and the sick, especially African slaves, devoted to the Holy Eucharist. A close friend of St. Rose of Lima, he's the patron of social justice and of people of mixed races. As we gather, let us call to mind our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who led St. Martin de Pours by the path of humility to heavenly glory, grant that we may so follow his radiant example in this life as to merit to be exalted with him in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, have among you yourselves the same attitude that is also yours in Christ Jesus, who through, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God, something he grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found him human in, in, in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name that is the name of Jesus. Every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will fulfill my vows before those who fear him. The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your hearts be ever merry. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow down before him. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. For dominion is the Lord's, and the, he rules the nations. To him alone shall bow down and who sleep in the, in, the, in the earth. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. To him my soul shall live. My descendants shall serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to a, a people yet to be born the justice he has shown. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all, who you, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One of those at table with Jesus said to him, Blessed is the one who will dine in the kingdom of God. He replied to him, a man gave a great dinner to which he invited many. When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servants to say to those invited, Come, everything is now ready. But one by one, they all began to excuse themselves. The first said to him, I have purchased a field and must go to examine it. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have purchased five yoke of oxen, and am on my way to evaluate them. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have just married a woman, and therefore I cannot come. The servant went and reported this to his master. Then the master of the house in a rage, commanded his servant, go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in here the poor and the crippled, the blind and the name, lame. The servant reported, sir, your orders have been carried out and still there is room. The master then ordered the servant, go out to the highways and hedgerows and make people come in that my home may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited will taste my dinner. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I sometimes become very saddened and frustrated by people's attitudes about going to heaven that it is an experience of magic. Everybody goes, everybody's welcomed. It doesn't matter what your lifestyle is, what you have done, whether you believe in Jesus or not, it's just everybody goes to heaven. And that there isn't a choice. And that is just it. There is a choice. We hear it expressed 
in the first part of our gospel. That all of the people, and one might consider them at this point the Jews, but as we expand it to history, is all who are invited, um, that we find excuses to not go to the banquet, not to really form our lives according to Christ Jesus. And that is where our first reading comes in. This is a liturgical hymn, as it is written by Paul. It is a, a way of expressing the whole ministry of Christ to us, for us, of what he has done, not only to be born into the world, but to suffer, to die, and to rise, and to offer to us who choose him, who desire to live for him, on a daily basis, to be a part of the kingdom of heaven. And we find ourselves saying, there isn't anything that would separate us from Christ Jesus, our Lord. So we ask ourselves, where are our hearts? We find in our saint today, Martin de Poors, that he truly lived out that, that first uh, beatitude Blessed are the poor in spirit. He wanted to share Christ with anyone and everyone with whom he would come into contact with. And so he went to the slaves. He went to those rejected by society and gave them a name. Gave them a name. And we know how important our name is and what it means to be called by our name. May we offer to the Lord's, to the Lord our yes, having received the invitation to the banquet here on earth in the Eucharist and in the heaven, the, the holy banquet of which Christ presents himself to us. stand. Let us offer to the Lord our intentions as we pray. We pray for the elections today that they truly may be safe and um, be conducted in a way that truly will bring um, us a legitimate election. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those who are affected with the coronavirus, for their caretakers, or whether that is family or the medical people. We pray to the Lord. We pray for peace within the streets of the United States, that we truly may find ways to voice our opinion in ways that bring about discussion and greater understanding and a pathway to justice, we pray to the Lord. We pray that more may follow the example of Martin de Poors, that they, may that they may reach out to those who truly are in need of ministry and a, a name, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our children who are attempting to learn in the multiple different experiences of our educational system, that it truly may be effective for everyone, we pray to the Lord. We pause to add our own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for all of those who have died, especially for Bob Smiths. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Loving and gracious Lord, we place our lives into your hands. Help us to grow in your life and ways. We ask our prayer through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. Most merciful God, who were pleased to create in blessed Martin de Poors the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you. By the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, 
And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Martin de Pours, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the priests and deacons, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Let us offer one another safely a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. By the power of the sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love through the example of blessed Martin de Pours and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. May we pray for Matthew Colley and Andrew Legreve, our seminarians, and that we may have um, vocations to priesthood, religious life, and diaconate from Prince of Peace Parish. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we pray the prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers in a special way. Bless our Holy Father, our Bishop, and our priests. May they follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the Church. With Mary, you raised Jesus the High Priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good St. Joseph, pray for us. And we pray the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Following Mass, we will have um, uh, adoration of the Holy Eucharist um, and benediction. Um, so if you would like to stay, um, and it's going to be all day long with rosary at noon, um, please um, um, make yourself available to come anytime you want. So we sing 303. Here we will take the wine and the water. Here we will take the bread of new birth. Here you shall call your sons and your daughters. Call us anew to be salt for the earth. Give us to drink the wine of compassion. Give us to eat the bread that is you. Nourish us well and teach us to fashion lives that are holy and hearts that are true. Here we will take the wine and um, I mean, not in the dark of buildings confining, not in some heaven light years away, but here in this place a new light is shining. Now is the kingdom, now is the day. Gather us in and hold us forever. Gather us in and make us your own. Gather us in, all peoples together, fire of love in our flesh and our bones.